Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and this is Vanishing Point by William Tyrell. Before we do this, can you please like and subscribe, subscribe even, check out onlinemagic.co, that's my membership site, 900 videos, live sessions every week, everybody loves it. Do check out the reviews of this, these are real reviews from real people, it's not like I've got all my mates to say nice things about me and on Trustpilot as well. So uh, have a look at that, onlinemagic.co, all manner of magic, all taught by me and special guests, including people like David Williamson, uh, Peter Wardell, who I've just been performing with, Steve Reynolds, loads of good stuff. And sorry if I didn't mention there, but it'll take me forever. So that is onlinemagic.co. Now, uh, vanishing point, again late to the party with this, as I always am, because I wanted to try it out, do something with it, get the responses, get a feel for it. And this was a, dip, a weird one, because when I first saw it, like so many of these visual tricks, most tricks are visual, aren't they, I suppose, but these kind of eye-popping eye candy tricks, and, uh, and if you haven't seen this, it's where you've got like four decks of cards, four, five, some decks of cards, and you, you squeeze them down into one. Quite a nice concept, but it's a moment, and it, is it worth investing in, which is what we're gonna sort of find out. So when I first saw it, I thought, oh, that looks good. And then some people started saying, yeah, but what's the point of it? You know, it's, what does it mean? You've got, why would you have five decks of cards? And I got caught up in that for a little bit. And I just thought, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, it doesn't. Now it does, of course, if you want to perform it in a show, you've got to find some kind of reason for it or in close up. But I don't, I think the fact that it's five decks goes down to one is the trick. That's fine. You know, if you're doing, you know, walk up to a table, oh God, I've got five, I shouldn't have bought five. I was going to do a trip with five decks but now I've got room in the pockets boom down I will just do a trick with one that'll do won't it <laughs> there you go there's your there's your justification now the question is is it doable is it usable is it just a social media trick and is it a social media trick sort of yes and no it does look just as good in real life it looks really good because I was doing it quite badly in Lisbon I showed a couple of people and oh that looks good and that was just as I was playing with it so I think it's one of those things where you know if you watch this social media clip five times as a magician you're going to start getting an idea of what's going on or maybe even once if you saw me do it because I didn't do it very well the usual thing I've come to Lisbon for a week bought about 12 decks of cards used about uh, about one of them so I've got to remember next time just to take one but the, the fact of the matter is there were really good responses and people said, oh, where'd you get that from? And, you know, with DMs and stuff like that. So, you know, it does look good, even if you're a magician and you look at it and start kind of sussing it out. It's easy. It's knacky, but it's easy. Cleaning up is easy, but you're going to have to be bold with it. There is a move you're going to have to do. Now, it's fine because that moment of, whoa, you know, creates the misdirection itself. You haven't got to get them to look away. They're thinking and processing that, and that gives you time to do what you're going to do. But if you're not handy with a deck of cards, it's going to feel a bit iffy until you do it. And then you realise um, you're absolutely fine. And again, if you see my social media clip, you'll probably get a good idea of what, <laughs> of what that is. So I think this is... It does what it says, it looks as good as it says, it, it's, but it's not the most versatile thing in the end. I think you could just vote. You could walk on stage in a parlor show and, you know, because I've got ADHD, I quite like this idea of going, I've got all these decks of cards, I can never, never really think of what one to use. It's so much easier. I've got to remember just to pack one deck of cards. Or in my social media clip, I did the thing of, of packing being a nightmare and packing to go home from Lisbon. So I think that's fine. And I think that's quite a good start to a set, you know, because you're talking to them, you're creating rapport, you can be standing there for ages with them, and then you crush them down to one. Now you can do this pretty much straight out of the box. Uh, or you, can, if you want different color decks rather than just bicycle cards, you, you get the stickers to do all that if you like. And actually, once you've got this, you can, you'll be able to make your own up as well. And people go, well, if you can make me own, why wouldn't I buy it? Well, that's the point. It's great. You buy it, you get the good version, and then you learn the workings of it and you can kind of put it together yourself. So I think it's good. It's honest. It does what it says. It's easy. If you look at my clip as well, you'll see that there's an indiscrepancy because the top pack's got, like, looks like a real pack and the others haven't got all the stickers on. Then he says you can put all the stickers on if you want, but people don't really register that. Uh, but if I was to like, think about it more, I probably would sort of customise it a little bit more. But straight out of the box, it works as I did it. 
And, and I think, it's, you know, it's fine. It's just not going to be for everybody. Some people don't want to go out with a, you know, looking like they've got five decks of cards. And by the way, pocket space-wise, it isn't going to take hardly any pocket space at all because once you've got that real deck of cards in your hand, you can then go into your routine. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So, great for social media, of course, but I think probably a little bit more usable than some people think it is. That's pretty much all I've got to say. I like the, you know, the download... I love vanishing downloads because it's not three hours long. You know, everybody goes, oh, here's this treat, go, that's good. You go for, and you kind of feel like you've got to watch all of it. And by the end of it, you, you know, it's like a personal development book. You can, once you've read the first chapter, you've kind of got it. Uh, so at least vanishing aren't doing that thing of, go, of, of doing huge. And I know some people like the long downloads. It gives them, it, you know, it makes them feel like they've got value for money. But for me, it, does it do that trick well? Yes, it does. Not going to last forever. These tricks don't, you know, they're, they're made of card. If you do it 500 times, you're going to have to make another one, buy another one, or whatever. But I don't think it's going to be that difficult. So there you go. That's Vanishing Point. Please use the links below. Thanks, Vanishing Inc., for sending that to me. And I enjoyed putting a video together with it, and I think it's good. Any questions, put it in the comments. If you want to disagree with me, that's good as well. It's good to disagree with me, and we can talk about it on the live sessions if I ever get back to doing them, because <laughs> I've been away a lot on Thursdays at five o'clock but do hit the little notifications button because if I do go live randomly you will get a notification telling you to if you subscribe which you should of course right thanks very much have a good one and go off and have a look at onlinemagic.co cheers <laughs>